So we've just stopped on the side of the road. We're a little bit hungry, so I think we needed a break. Um, we're just gonna stretch our legs and find some food. I think we saw some what might be restaurants down there. Let's go take a look. So we've been driving for, what, about an hour? Hour-ish, I'm not sure, a really long time. Uh, it was getting a little bit hard on the bike and now we're just gonna get some food. Uh, I think we got like a beef noodle, pork noodle. Sorry, or something, it. we're not sure. We're about to find out when it comes out. And we've just got some water. It is super hot right now. So I thought we'd have some lunch. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> good? Good, good Thai. Mid noi. Sabdi kap. The gentleman is sabdi kap. It really is sabdi kap. Sabdi mai kap? Oh, sabdi, yeah. It's uh, not the Thailand either. Sabdi chow. Sabdi chow. Sabdi chow. Lana. Okay, Lana. Yeah. Lana. <laughs> <laughs> Lana. Is, uh, delicious. Delicious. Yeah. Yes, oh, delicious. delicious. So I think we got a, a a pork noodle. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I said my side pricka, which means like please don't put spice in my food, <laughs> please. <laughs> so it definitely doesn't look spicy. I can't see any chilies, which is good. You've got sort of like a bed of noodles in like this soup with pork and bits of juicy looking meat on top with some greens in there as well so I've never had anything like this have I no not a whole soup so Ooh. noodles look really good let's pop some green on there as well so good yeah that's really nice the noodles are so yum the flavor of the like soup broth is like really good i didn't get much meat there's some meat on the bone here but it slips off the bone quite easily i didn't taste much of the pork but the noodles and the soup is nice that's weird eating a i've never eaten like meat on a bone like that i don't normally like eat the bone i just kind of like go up it <laughs> interesting i like it i think the noodles and the soup is like a really nice flavor and i think the the greens, like the little crunch of greens in there is like super nice as well. I don't mind it. I'm not usually a big soup eater. Like if there's soup in it, I don't normally like it. But, well, not that I don't normally like it. I don't normally try it. So this is yum. It's really good. I really like it. Everyone loves pizza. I think what we have is, is like pork ribs in noodle. Oh. Um, because I don't know, it comes off the bone like a rib. Like they look like rib bones to me. It like slides straight off. Like you put the meat in your mouth and then just the, the bones just out of it. Bandon nugget. Oh, uh, for me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I put on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Got me a hat. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Bandong market. Yeah, yeah. It's a Bandong Perfect. market. <laughs> Wow! It's good for sun. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> he gave me our friend who we're talking to. He gave me a cap, a hat to wear. Look, <laughs> I love it. Oh, Thai people, honestly, it's everyone's so friendly in this country. It is amazing. I love it. So now I have a cap because my face was getting burnt from the sun as well. So, and we're not far away. I don't think from Lampang. I think we're about 22 minutes. Bit of coriander in there. Come, come, come. Thank you. All right, we are leaving with a full belly and a new friend and a new hat. <laughs> So we actually just got here to Lampang. We've checked into this little cute homestay. Um, we're just actually about to get ready to go out to the like night market here. It started thundering. So now I think we're stuck in here until the rain blows through. So we'll see how we go, but we definitely want to go to the market tonight. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we are gonna brave it and just chance the fact that it won't pour down rain on us. <laughs> so we're just walking now um, over this bridge which should take us straight to 
the night market hopefully so how exciting it's already cute here it's really cute really nice looking town and everyone so far is just like smiling at us it's really cute so far and where we're staying is like a really short walk apparently to the night market but also the morning market and also the old city so we should have a good day tomorrow as well stick around to see our adventures then so i just thought i'd tell you a couple of little things about lampang so it's about an hour and a half sort of out of chiang mai very easy drive to get here it was basically one road the whole entire way um, it looks really cute at the moment it's got really colonial style houses wooden houses um, it looks quite different to the rest of what I've seen so far in Thailand now one of the main things to do here is to go to the Saturday night market which is what we're doing for you right now so stay tuned to find out what's there oh lightning <laughs> Okay, honestly, so far this market is a lot bigger than I expected. I'm not sure what I did expect, but there is a lot more people, a lot more stores, a lot more things happening here than I, I thought there would be, to be honest. And I think there's a Milo Ice person down here. And if you know, you know that I love my Milo Ice. So let's see what it's like in Lampang. Oh. So let's go try it. There's so many more people here than I thought. It's like traffic in the middle of the things we got a milo but it came as a like frappe like um, blended so and it smells like food it smells really good this, oh, sushi. there's so many cool things here I don't even know what to choose my milo my milo yen this is like milo yen yen because it's like blended it's really nice you know what it tastes like what I normally get the milo on fresh milk but it just tastes thicker <laughs> It's really nice and it's really refreshing. It's like quite warm. Colder than when we got here, but this is really good. I actually like it. I didn't think I'd like it. I like it. I kind of want that. Oh, I want that for dessert. We'll get some food and we'll come back. From one of my videos where I tried things that I haven't had before in Thailand, a lot of you were telling me to try like a coconut frappe or like a coconut smoothie. So like this video, like this video if you want to try that and I might do a one coming up. It's raining now, it's starting to rain. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I feel droplets and I feel the rain. Yeah, let's, let's put the camera away for a second. It's about to pour, I think. Yeah. Okay, just to fill me in fill you in it kind of like sprinkled for a little bit but everyone's kind of like what do we do are we packing up or we're not packing up is it gonna pour I don't think everyone knows whether it's gonna rain or not so it's not really as busy anymore people have kind of either gone home or um, yeah so we're just having a look through it looks like people are sort of grabbing their dinner and going home now so unfortunate but that's okay we might find something really quick before we go home so I just got a chicken samosa uh, chicken chicken uh -huh. Uh, sweet bean. Bean. Sweet bean. Yeah. Just because I don't want to go home being completely hungry if everyone packs up in the next couple of minutes. So, these is beautiful though. There's like cobblestone. With like the big French this colonial This is so cool. House, and it's got, yeah, like really open, like French colonial yeah. style houses lining the cobblestone street. This is awesome. If I, I can give the guys any sort of reference, if you've ever been to Lao, to Luang Prabang, it feels exactly like this. This is what the street's like. The cobblestone streets, big French colonial houses. It's beautiful. All right, pass me the samosa. Oh, it's hot. That's yum. Oh, I like that. It's kind of got um, like a feeling of like curry and sort of chicken. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we've got a version of these. It's like a pancake with like a sausage in there. So it's not, it's a bit of a weird like sweet and savory sensation. But I've like become addicted to these. Whenever I see these, I have to get them. I love the taste, so. And the sausage is like a little curry. So the whole thing feels a little sweet, with like a hint of savory. These things are so good. And this is five baht. Five baht? Five baht. Whoa. So good. There's so much lightning about behind you in the background. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> We've got about 10 minutes, I think, of food left to get Oh, there's more lightning. <laughs> um, I just finished that samosa curry thing. It was amazing. Like, that was actually so nice. Woo! Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, my been all right. <laughs> I almost got bowled over by a little child. So let's keep finding some food, but I think we're almost at the end of it at the moment. It goes on for so long. <laughs> oh 
my god. So all your favourite things? I had one of these in somewhere else recently. More space in Chiang Mai. Yeah. Which is like light years better than that. <laughs> okay, I'm just sitting here. We're having a brief intermission while Michael finishes his sausage dog. <laughs> Um, we're just gonna look for a little bit of dinner. Um, I, we haven't really had anything substantial yet, so I'm just gonna have a little walk down. It seems like most people are still here. I think some packed up because of the thunder and the lightning, but looks like some are still here. Feelings and like vibe from this market is so cool. What do you think? It's super relaxing. It's so relaxing. The different feel of this place is really nice and everyone's like smiling at us. It's just been like a really good experience here so far and this market seems really like lively. A lot. I honestly thought it was not gonna be very many people here. everywhere they're trying to stop <laughs> stop it from flying away it is getting very windy and the weather is not playing well with us tonight I don't think we might have to oh maybe cut it, our losses soon because I think everyone's going home now but it's so windy <laughs> okay it started to rain really bad so it's starting to rain really bad so I'm gonna put my camera away okay so it got a lot worse <laughs> and I am drenched <laughs> I don't know if you can tell I can't even see through my glasses. Yeah, we might just sit here for a second. We're gonna try and make it home, but I don't think that's gonna happen. It's uh, really bad. So <laughs> we might just wait this one out for a second and see how we go from there. Okay, we're back in our room. <laughs> we genuinely were stuck out in that rain for how long do you reckon we're out there for? Like 40 minutes? So we just came back and we didn't really actually get to eat anything. So we've actually ordered grab <laughs> which is like uber eats if you're from australia or anywhere else but we also just had to go back out in the rain to pick that up so <laughs> i don't know if it was counterproductive but not the way that we thought tonight would go but that's how travel works and that's what happens <laughs> so we're gonna eat this and we'll probably see you in the morning well good morning from lamping we got up a little bit later than we normally would but this bridge is beautiful we are just on the way to see uh, like a coffee shop or a cafe or something. Now the one thing I'm loving about Lang Pang, Lang Pang, <laughs> still a bit early for me, I haven't had my coffee yet, is the street art. There's so many like drawings and paintings on the side of buildings and things and it's so beautiful but we're on a hunt for coffee before anything else. So last night when we were getting dinner here, we saw this cafe and we wanted to come and have um, breakfast or a coffee here. This is the walking street, by the way, where we were last night having dinner. And now it's just a normal <laughs> road or street. Like, I guess all the markets do that, but this one's really special with the cobblestones and, you know, the cool houses around the outside of the street too. It's pretty. And that's where we went and had, what do we have up there? The Milo. This is cool. This is a really pretty city. we found this really pretty cafe um, in the middle of that walking street um, that we saw last night and we came here today but it's really nice it's got obviously coffee um, we were looking for some Western breakfast doesn't have that but it has a full range of Thai breakfast it looks really nice well, it's definitely my type of style and my aesthetic it looks so nice out here um, definitely a good place I think to come and have coffee you can see the river from where we're sitting right now so it's beautiful here I love Lampang. I think it's so it's cute. So nice. It's so cute here. Hi there. <laughs> so just before we leave and we check out, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour of where we stayed last night in this beautiful bungalow traditional style in Lampang. It was beautiful. Service was amazing. She was so nice to us. She let us borrow her umbrellas and everything because it was pouring rain last night. But let me quickly show you where we stayed. Outside, I think we'll start with, was a beautiful little seating nook. We didn't have enough time to sit down and utilize it for coffee and reading, but it was a really beautiful place to sit. So you have two amazing air conditioning units. We had them on all night. We do like it a little bit colder, but the weather in Lempeng hasn't been that bad, but very useful, very comfortable night's sleep. Over here, we had a bathroom. So nice bathroom, but my favorite part is 
So you can open the window in here and basically have a shower outside in the trees on the river in Lampang. It's my, pretty much my favorite part of this place. Amazing, beautiful, love it. So this is a riverside room. You have two beds, a double and a single. Um, and it obviously looks over the river. Now what I found really funny is that I wanted to go and sit on the balcony, but tell me where I should get outside. <laughs> there's um, there's no, do <laughs> there's no doors here. <laughs> so. <laughs> Maybe that's why that thing's there. <laughs> you have to come through the window. <laughs> So it is amazing being out here, basically practically on top of the river. This place has stilts, so the river's directly below us and you can see some local members just having a little raft out in the middle of the river here. So right now Michael is just prepping the bike. We are about to go have a little drive. We're gonna head to the old city of Lampang, somewhere I haven't been before. We're gonna look around, we're hopefully gonna find some lunch and then we're gonna have to set off home. Unfortunately, it's about an hour and a half back to Chiang Mai. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say that I feel that my love is real. So we're actually just having a little ride through some streets. We actually started going around the old city, um, the city wall gate, and then we decided just to explore a little bit. And these are such charming little back streets with amazing little just houses and they look so pretty and this is just a really charming, beautiful little neighborhood. And if you can see, it's just so amazing everything is just so pretty here and it's just got a really good feel to it a really good vibe i recommend if you're look at my glasses <laughs> i recommend if you're in lampang to get a motorbike and just explore just explore the, the city streets like this because this is really cool make a love a story that would never We drove around the old city and through some back streets and everything for a while and we just wanted to kind of I guess explore for a little bit so then we tried to find some lunch because it's pretty much just past lunchtime and we have to head home soon we have about an hour and a half drive home to Chiang Mai so we tried to find a cafe and we went to about three and they were all um, closed or, or didn't have food so we found this one it's called the bluebird cafe it's right in the middle of this like park type area um, looks like in the middle of almost the heart of the city what have you got a burrito I struggle with having Thai breakfast sometimes. Like I think that chicken and rice is like a lunch or a dinner food. Um, so for me, I like like eggs or like bacon or something in the morning. So that's probably my thing that I've struggled with most being in Thailand is that you guys are just happy to have chicken and rice in the morning, which is totally fine. Um, but I like some eggs. So I'm just having like a little breakfast wrappy type thing um, with some bacon and a taco and it's very cheesy. Um, I thought the potato would be more like a hash brown, but it's kind of just baked potatoes. Still pretty good though. <laughs> so we're just gonna eat this, and then I think we're gonna head back on the bike, maybe grab another coffee before we go, and drive all the way back to Chiang Mai. that's it we jumped on the bike we drove for about an hour and a half all the way back home seeing the beautiful Thailand landscape on the way back from Lampang back to where we are in Chiang Mai we're finally home and Lampang has been so beautiful I do wish we had a little bit more time there it was such a quaint little beautiful stunning charismatic town and it was a really good trip the both of us loved it it was 
a really good getaway for 24 hours. Unfortunately, it rained, but that's okay. We got to spend more time in our little, cute little, like, homestay hut. It was really great. But what better way to come back to Chiang Mai with this amazing sunset behind the mountain. Nothing can beat it. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.